Yep. Okay, here we are in Crystal Lake, Florida. Nope, yes, it's Crystal River. Oh, I keep saying it. Crystal River, Florida. Looking for a cool place to play in their paint. So we're fighting the no seams here right now. It's 88 degrees, so this spot's going to be a quick pain. So I'm going to take some uh, phthalo blue and some ultramarine blue. I'm just lay in the sky, fighting off the bugs here. I actually didn't expect it to be quite this warm here this day, but uh, anyways, there's my sky. Some hard edges, some soft edges. Bug spray. We are being eaten alive here. So you want to? So let's uh, let's continue now. <laughs> Um, I forgot how bad it can be at uh, certain times of no the year here. Them. Okay, this might still be wet up in here, so if mm -hmm. it is, then that'll go soft like that. Burnt umber, a little bit of burnt umber with my ultramarine blue and my phthalo blue. Um, I want to get it a little bit lighter though, so I'm going to add some uh, lemon yellow in here too. Okay, there's adding some lemon yellow. That's okay. I'm going to put some darks around this to uh, to make this stand out, give a little more depth to the painting. But here's this uh, rigger brush, which is really fun to use. And again, I hold it way out on the end. And I just have fun dancing around with the brush. Um, I spent a little bit of time looking at the reference, the trees. Um, but uh, but not, not much. Okay, so there's a palm tree. All right, let's put the trunk in now. I'm going to go with... Uh, a Zen round brush here with burnt umber and ultramarine blue. I don't want it too brown. I also don't want it too blue. So let's uh, let's see what we come up with here. Let me start it, and if I don't like the color, I'll change it. Yeah, it needs to be a little warmer. It's a little ochre to that. Okay, let's just start at the bottom here. Just kind of sweep right up and connect it. Well, that's too green, so I'm going to go back to my burnt umber and a touch of ultramarine blue. Right back over that stroke. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit lighter up in here. I'm just going to get a brush with water in it, just, just water. Okay, I'm going to brown that up a little bit more. It's more of a gray brown, the tree, actually. I'm going to have another one that kind of disappears back in here, I think. I decide where I want to place it. Yeah, let's put it here. So there's the trunk. Got some nice, if you go quick with your strokes, you can get some nice bright dry brush strokes in there, which are really, really fun to see in a painting. I'm going to go a little darker, add a little more ultramarine blue to, uh, to this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of dance around this one. Kind of put some darks behind this so this top of this tree comes forward. Again, this is just a, a quick a plein air demo. Um, Are you using sand brushes? Hmm? Are you using sand brushes? Yeah. These, I like these brushes. These Zen brushes seem to work really quite well. I especially like the rigger. This is a number 10 round brush here, which also works well. Okay, let's bring a little more greenery down, a little lower in the painting, down over in here. Okay, and let's put it in shadow a little bit underneath here. Let's get some burnt umber again with ultramarine blue. And just put the top of the trunk in uh, in shadow. Same here. And it's, I got my paper on a slant, so it'll run down that side, and it works really, really well. It just kind of creates that form to that tree. Okay, while this is wet, I'm going to take a beveled ended brush, it has an acrylic handle on it, and this is a great tool if you want to put, get some relief to your painting. You can come in here and scrape out some lighter branches, these palm branches. Okay, 
All right, there's one tree that creeps off to the steps. If you look at the, if you look at the uh, scene right here, there's this one tree that slants in here. So I'm going to put that in, at least put part of that in here. How are you doing? Getting eaten up by bugs, Nancy? Yeah. <laughs> um, the bug spray helped. The bug spray, I'll tell you. It's a good thing they had it. Ooh. And uh, our friends, Kim and Jerry, and uh, we've been we've camped with them many, many times, and uh, we always have a have a great time. I left a gap in here because I'm going to put some moss in there, and no sense uh, trying to have this peek through the, the moss. Here I'm using a number eight round brush by Zen. I'm going to go back to my rigger. I want the branches to be a little more delicate now. Again, I hold the brush way out on the end. And just kind of... Mm, you do. Let it, let it give me what it's going to give me. It, uh, it's much better than tightening up. Again, sometimes it's good uh, uh, to do it without, uh, without penciling anything in. I mean, it gives you some more freedom. Okay, there's a few branches here. And one up in here. I think that's all I'm going to do for this demo. Um, now I'm going to take... Uh, my mop brush to get some of this moss in. That's more in the brown grays, actually. A little bit of blue, a little bit of burnt umber. Oops, that's the wrong color. And I might even put a touch, just a hint of green in it, I think. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay, let me fan this brush out. Dang it out, it uh, gives you some nice dry brush effects. There we go, I like that color too. It's got a little green in it, a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue. Um, <clears throat> again, fan it out again. I usually have a piece of test paper here and I forgot to bring that. But, uh, mm -hmm. but anyways, this all drops pretty, drops very vertical. So you want to uh, make sure that you, uh, you don't have things, unless it's breezy, then they would all have a little bit of a slant to them. But other than that, uh, it's hanging pretty much straight down. Okay. I think I might even run that up off the corner of the page. <clears throat> I'm doing that because I see, well, I got that a blossom right there. Let's just come right up into that. And if I want some of these areas soft, like right here, uh, if the camera's moving a lot, you can blame Nancy for yeah, that. Yeah, that's it's, my fault. Right, I'm going to spray that so this, these, some of these edges will go soft. Okay. I'm going to put some more darks in there now. Uh, ultramarine blue. Burnt umber. And I want this, uh, this main trunk here to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to drop some darks in there to make this pop. And maybe a few peeking out in here. I do like the sky peeking through it too, so I don't want to lose all, all of that. Um, Okay. Sorry. All right, Nance. Hold on. We're almost done. Whoa, whoa. It's almost done. You can go back in the inside and get out of the out of the bugs. Okay. A few more ducks. Very nice. Very nice, you say? Very nice, honey. Most, okay. So in other words, that means speed it up. Looks good. It's finished. <laughs> no, it's not quite no. finished, but uh, did I say that? I'm going to take my uh, my mop brush again, though, and I'm going to um, put a little texture on the side of this trunk here. Ooh. A little bit of curve to it. There you go, Nancy. Get in there mm -hmm. and see that. Just gives a little dimension to it. Um, and if I want some more defined edges, I can come in here with my uh, rigger brush. And I can have some of them be a little, a little stronger in value. But don't worry about staying within the lines. That usually is what uh, makes a painting uh, not fun to look at because it's just there's too much information. There's too much, too much detail. Uh, the more detail isn't going to save a painting. Usually it does the exact opposite. It, uh, it really overworks it and it makes it really, really tired. Looks really good, Ken. Um, I hear you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a little bit of splatter on this, and, and we're going to call it quits just to get, get this over with. Okay, let's come up over in here. My brown, my umber, and just get a little, a little action going in here. And I do see a little burnt sienna. Hold on, Nancy. Just, okay. just a little burnt sienna in here. 
I, just, I do see some burnt sienna, and that'd be... Well, if you see it, you better put it in. Yeah. Well, here at the base, with all these uh, <laughs> palms have started to uh, mm. to die and brown out. Mm -hmm. um, plus, it's a nice accent color to the blue sky. Um, but I think that's enough. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. It's fun to do. You're taking the pressure off yourself. It may or may not work out. Um, doing a sketchbook, you mean? Doing a sketchbook, loose sketches. And, uh, don't, don't get serious about it. Splash around and have fun. And that's it. Over and out. <laughs>